Hello hockey fans. Well, another eventful Thursday is in the books. We are coming down to just over two weeks left in the season. And um, a whole bunch of teams could have clinched uh, spots today. In fact, it was four four teams total had a chance to uh, clinch spots in the playoffs. And the Avalanche had a chance to win the division. We won our game, but the other the rest didn't uh, pan out, so we have to wait a bit. But anyway... I am happy to report that two teams have joined the playoff party, and they are two teams who are very familiar with the Stanley Cup playoffs as of late. And here's one of them. We're used to that, aren't we? We should be. The Pittsburgh Penguins. They failed to clinch on Tuesday against the Islanders, but they did it tonight. A 6-3 win over the New York Islanders puts the Penguins in the playoffs for the, listen carefully, the 16th straight season. 16! That's one for every world championship that John Cena and Rick Ware have won. I mean, can you believe that? 16 straight years of playoffs. And, for, and it's amazing when you're Sidney Crosby. The last time Pittsburgh missed the playoffs, you had to go all the way back to the 2005-2006 season, which was Crosby's rookie year. Yeah. But um, it's the longest streak not only in the NHL but in North American sports. They earned that distinction when the uh, San Antonio Spurs actually missed the playoffs in, um, I think it was 2020. When they missed the playoffs, that ended a streak that lasted for them that lasts over 20 years. So Pittsburgh does have the longest streak in pro sports. So again, congratulations to the Penguins. They are back in the playoffs. They are looking to win a series for the first time since 2018 because it's been kind of a rough last few seasons since they won those back-to-back -back cups in um, 16 and 17. They won the one series against Philly in 18, and then but since losing to Washington. A loss to the, swept by the Outers in 19, a shocking qualifying round loss to the Canadiens in 20, and in 21, lost to the Outers again. Uh, Crosby really has nothing to prove. I mean, he's got three cups, but he would like just he would like one more. I mean, who doesn't want one more? Four Stanley Cups? You can hang your hat on that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so again, the Penguins are in. Congratulations to them. And I mentioned back-to-back -back champions, which leads me to the next team who clinched because of that same game. That's right. The Tampa Bay Lightning, your reigning, defending, undisputed back-to-back -back Stanley Cup heavyweight champions are in and will officially try to make it three in a row. That's right. To, to find the last team to win three straight Stanley Cups, you have to go all the way back 40 years to the beginning of the 1980s, that New York Islanders dynasty that won four straight between 80 and 83. It had a chance at a fifth in a row, but the Edmonton Oilers and some kid named Wayne Gretzky uh, thwarted that plan. Um, so Tampa Bay is in. They actually won their game, but they clinched before Anthony Sorelli's overtime goal because the Penguins game ended before their own and all they and one of the stipulations had them only needing an Islanders regulation loss and they got it. So they clinched the spot and then they scored that goal. So that's that's that. So the bolts are back in. They're trying to make it three in a row and we will see if they can do it. Uh, so overall, overall, two more spots in, that means seven teams are in, that means the, the Sweet 16 is almost half full. Um, six of the seven spots clinched are in the Eastern Conference, which means that only leaves, I think, the wild card teams. Though, I say wild card teams, even though the wild card positions haven't been officially locked in yet, but there are two spots remaining in the Eastern Conference. It would have been one. Boston had Boston had the chance to join that party tonight, 
when the Islanders lost in regulation. All they would have needed to do was get to overtime in their game. They were down 3-2 to two late, but they couldn't tie it. If they had tied that game and, and, and killed the rest of the clock, that would have been the one point they would have been in. But um, there are two spots left in the Eastern Conference, and we pretty much know who, who's going to get those. So, like I said, the top eight in the East has been set in stone for about over a month now. So, anyway, con congratulations to the last two teams to win back-to-back -back cups, the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Tampa Bay Lightning. And um, if any more clinches happen, if any more clinches happen uh, this week, I will have videos, I'll have video up for graduating those teams. Though, there really should be I think there really should be one more because, again, um, or there, there should be about one or two more because uh, Boston, with Boston with that, they are one. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I see the schedule. The Islanders play tomorrow in uh, Montreal, so Boston could clinch the spot in the playoffs tomorrow. But uh, Montreal has to beat the Islanders. But it can happen any way. It can happen in any form. It doesn't have to be in regulation. Boston's one point away from clinching. But... Uh, and though, if, and if not, Boston plays Pittsburgh uh, on early Saturday, and uh, Calgary they were one point away from clinching, and they play Arizona Saturday. So we could see two more teams join that party. So in any event, as any event, like I said, congratulations to the Penguins and the Lightning for joining the party, and I'll be back probably as early as tomorrow to congratulate most likely Boston for joining for clinching, and uh, I will recap everything from this past week on Sunday night once the, once the action ends so stay tuned